Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In this short video tutorial, you will learn how to add a secondary logo to your WordPress website. It means that you can have multiple logos on your WordPress website. I already have a video about this topic where I showed you that how you can add a secondary logo, but that trick is no more working. And there were some questions on that video, so this will be an updated version of that video, okay? And the main reason is nowadays most of the theme comes up with a header builder where you can design a header based on your need, where you can easily add a secondary logo. And I will be showing you two methods, one by using the theme customizer to add a header and add a secondary logo. And the next one will be by using a plugin called Elementor Header and Footer, okay? So let's see how we can do it. Now as I mentioned, there are a couple of themes that comes up with header builder. For example, Bloxy, Astra, Kerens, Sydney, and so on. Let me install Bloxy theme first, just to show you. And you can follow the same for all the themes. I'll click on Add New. And I'll search for Bloxy. And let's install and activate it. And let's also install its campaign and plugin. And that's it. Now you can go to a customizer from this page. And you can just click on customize and this will take you to header options. Or you can go to appearance and customize. So let's click here. And this will open up customizer page where you can customize header. Okay. Let me go back and show you. If you go to customizer, then you can just go to header. And this will open up header builder. Okay. You can see we have a logo here. And then we have menu and search. Now this is one of our logo. Let me just change it. I'll click on it. And I'll add an image or a graphic logo. Okay. Let me upload two logos here. So I uploaded these two logos. And we'll show you how we can add a second logo. Okay. So this is the first one. We will add it here. And let's remove this title. Okay. This is our first logo. Now to add a new logo here, we can just use HTML, okay? And for that, you can just go back here. And these are the elements available that you can add to your header here, okay? For example, you want to add account, like a commerce account page and so on. You can use this one, this is button, this is HTML, this is menu 2 and so on. So we will remove this search. And instead of search, we will use HTML. And here we can write a code to display an image, okay? And that will be something like IMG, okay? And for the source, we will use the image link. That's it. I'll provide these codes in the description also, okay? This is one method that you can write in the text here, okay? And if you don't want to use it, you can just remove it. And you can go to your WordPress dashboard to copy the image link, okay? So let's go there. Then you can go to media. Where we have these two logos, okay? We already have displayed this one. So I'll copy the link of this logo. And to copy the URL, we can just click on this, copy URL to clipboard. And then we'll go back to customizer. And here we can just paste it, okay? If I right click and paste, you will see that logo over here, okay? And this is our secondary logo. Now to fix the width, we can just click on it. And then you can just drag it like this. And this will fix the width here, okay? Let's do it a little more. And that's it. So now you can see we have two logos on our website. And obviously you can design the rest of the page, this is just the header part, okay? And if you want to link this to another website, or to home page or any other page, you can just click here and then you can just click on this insert link, okay? Then write any URL here, for example, I'll write my website URL here. Then enter, that's it. And once you are done, just click on publish to save your changes. Now let's quickly visit the website to check it. So let's close it. I'll open this in a new tab. This is one of our logo and this is the secondary one. If I click it, this will take me to my website. Okay, let's go back. And this one will already be linked to your home page. So this was the first method that how you can add a secondary logo to your website. Let me show you the second method, which will be by using a free plugin. Let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Now if you are using Elementor for your website and you want to have a custom header with Elementor, you can do it easily by adding a simple plugin. Let's go to plugins, add new. And here we will search for header and footer. And you will see this plugin Elementor header and footer. And this is by Brainstorm. You can use this plugin to create a custom header and footer by using free Elementor. Let's install and activate it. Once you activate, you can just refresh it. 
and once you do the plugin you can go to appearance you will see elementor header and footer just click on it and now we don't have any template but we can add a new one and uh, we can skip this part now you can add a title so we are creating a custom header i'll call it custom header and then for the type we can choose header footer before footer and so on as we are creating a header so i'll choose header and display on so basically we can give it a condition like to display this on entire website or all singular pages archive pages search page front page only and so on so we can give it any condition okay so for now i'll display this on entire website and again we can decide a user rule for it as well but this is optional we will just publish it and now let's edit it with elementor and let's close this we'll close the navigator as well and here you can design a custom header the way you want so let's add a container first and here i'll choose this three column layout okay and i'll display one logo here then menu here and another logo here let's give it some background color just to differentiate from the previous one okay and uh, let's say this now if i search for logo here you can see site logo if i drag this over here this will display the first logo that we added in the team okay so this is the first one and again you can customize it like you can use a custom image you can change the width the alignment the caption and link and so on then you can go to style and you can again give it some specific width height and also background color and so on but these are not related to this video okay you can customize it the way you want so let's add a new one here so very simple i'll just use an image here we'll select an image that will be the secondary logo that's it now again we can give it any link so i'll use custom url and i will write my own link here okay let's change the background because this is not looking good So this is now our header. Let's remove this container padding. And here you can add your menu, your search bar and so on. If I search for menu, you can see this navigation menu. And you can see the plugin logo here, okay? So I'll just drag it. And here I can select the menu. Oh, now we don't have any menu. And that's it. And now if I publish it. And check the website again. This was the previous header and this is the new header now so in this way you can add two logos to your wordpress website easily and by the way blocks is my favorite theme if you want to learn more about it and you want to learn more about elementor and wordpress just follow my channel and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next